Hi, this is Fred from WP Shout, and today I'm going to show you how to use Sublime Text, the text editor, to um, search through the entire contents of a WordPress plugin. So I'll show you how to do this, and then I'll talk a little bit about why and when it's useful. Um, so the first step here is you have to have the plugins files, the, the plugin folder with all the files inside it, somewhere on your local machine. You have to have it downloaded onto your computer. So I've done that with the um, uh, the WordPress, the LearnDash LMS plugin. I just downloaded that into a folder called Plugins on my on my computer. So once you've got that folder with all the with all the plugins files in it, maybe you downloaded it from FileZilla or however you got it. Then we're going to go to File, Open Folder, and we're just going to navigate to the the folder that is the plugin folder that holds all the files and subfolders for the plugin and we're going to say select folder. That's going to open a new Sublime Text window with just these files in it. So these are all the files and these are the subfolders and this is everything the Learn Dash plugin has in it. And then if we want to search, I am going to, uh, if I if I do the normal like bulk search thing which is Control shift f or Command shift f if you're on a Mac, you can see that it's not actually searching it's searching like the, maybe the last uh, file path, uh, local local path that I may have searched. So instead, what I want to do is right click on the folder itself and say find in folder. And you see what that does is that changes this um, path to what to the folder that I'm actually searching. And then I can search whatever I want. So this is the name of a plugin. Um, this is the name of a function that I needed to find in the plugin the other day this LD lesson access from you can see I put a like a little parenthesis here because that's how you say function in PHP and if I say find you'll see that there are two files that have results this is one of them whoops this is one of them and this is another and you can see there's a total of three matches across those two files which are kind of circled in this in this black and if as I just did accidentally if you double click it'll actually open that that um, the file that you double clicked. And now if I just hit Control F or Command F, I'm just going to search within this file and I can get the instances of that um, of that function. And one other thing I'll show you before I go is uh, a lot of the time there's a bunch of callers of a function, but you're looking for like where is that function defined? And that, and that can be very difficult to to locate in a WordPress plugin because I mean good luck if you want to like figure out how the LearnDash people think and search through these 90 million PHP files for uh, wherever the the LD lesson access from function is defined, like go for it. But I just long experience has told me I can never find something on my own ever in a, in a sufficiently complicated you know plugin like this. So again, what you just do is you do find and folder and the nice thing about PHP is this is the way to declare a function. There's not a lot of options. So if you put the word function before it, you're going to find where that function is defined. There's going to be one match in one file. And if you double click that result, it'll take you right to that part of the uh, right to that part of the PHP file that is actually defining this LD lesson access from function. Cool. Hope that's helpful. Thank you guys for watching.